Hi, my name is Brian Weimer, technical team agronomist with LG Seeds, covering South Central Illinois and Eastern Missouri for this week's Agronomy Tip of the Week. One thing that I wanna talk about a little bit is planting depth in corn. It might seem a little bit elementary, but with the amount of technology in our planters, how fast we can plant and the decisions that we have to make, it could be something that's easily forgotten as planting season gets underway uh, for much of our region. And so when it comes to planting depth, usually that planting depth range can be anywhere from about an inch and a half to two and a half inches with corn. Uh, and it's quite a wide range. And if you look at some of the university trials, there's quite a bit of different depths that end up being that optimal planting depth for corn. And the reason why we see a lot of variation is because it really depends on the conditions at planting when that planter is going across the field. And so one of the things that we want to pay attention to in regards to planting depth in corn uh, that we need to keep an eye on is making sure we have that good seed to soil contact. And so when we look at seed to soil contact, we want to make sure that the seed is covered with soil, is free of any air pockets and free of any residue. So if we're seeing any issues with seed to soil contact with our planters, um, we can usually number one, go back and look at that row unit. We can look at either that uh, tillage tool in front of that planter, whether it's a row cleaner, whether it's a field cultivator, double checking our down pressure on our row units uh, to make sure we're getting that soil packed around that seed. And then also looking at that closing system to make sure that we're closing that trench adequately. Um, if we're running into issues with any of that and everything's set appropriately, we might have to drop that depth a little bit. The other reason why we might have to adjust our depth is if we run into uh, conventional tilled ground that was either worked too wet or in some cases even too dry. Sometimes we can run into issues with clods out in our field. And so if we run into some cloddy field conditions, we might have to adjust our depth and go a little bit deeper to ensure we have that good seed to soil contact. Uh, so something to think about. Generally speaking, agron agronomically, we run into less issues with corn that's planted on the deeper side than too shallow. And one of those reasons is uh, good nodal root development. If we plant corn a little bit on the shallower side, sometimes we can run into issues with nodal root development, which can cause some issues with standability early in the season. The other reasons why we run into less issues corn planted may be a little bit deeper is because we usually run into consistent soil moisture at that time. The only exception on planting too deep is if we get into some really heavy soils, maybe it's higher clay content, maybe it's gumbo soils. If we plant that seed too deep, we can run into issues with sustainability, so that's something to be cautious of. But looking at the soil moisture aspect of it, we wanna make sure that those seeds are placed into good consistent soil moisture. Um, there's some research studies that show that if corn plants are emerged uh, greater than 18 hours difference of each other, we can start seeing some substantial yield loss and the farther you get away from 18 hours, the higher that yield loss becomes. And so it's definitely important that we get all those seeds in consistent soil moisture. And the reason why that could sometimes be a little bit tricky is because when we start out with planting early on in the morning, if we get some of those cooler nights, sometimes that moisture can brought up closer to that soil surface. And so when we start out at the beginning of the day, we might be in adequate soil moisture and everything looks good. But if we get some sunshine, we get some heat, maybe a little bit of wind, sometimes that soil moisture in our fields can drop a little bit. Um, so when we start out early in the morning, everything might look good, but maybe two or three o'clock in the afternoon, it's maybe a different story. The other things to consider too is differences in soil type. If we go from a silt loam to a clay loam to a sandy loam, that's a pretty big extreme, but you could see some major differences in soil moisture in those environments and definitely see it field to field sometimes. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on, but really good seed to soil contact, making sure we're getting into consistent moisture um, is gonna be the big key things uh, in regards to where that planting depth is gonna fall with corn. And so, the uh, big takeaway is, is making sure that we get out of our planner uh, a couple times throughout the day and just double check those things, make sure everything's looking good. So that way we get ourselves off to a good start for the growing season. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local star partner, sales account manager, technical team agronomist for any assistance you might need this planting season. So hope everyone has a great week and uh, happy planting out there and stay safe. Thanks for watching.